Hello guys, welcome to Tutorials Point. This video will be focusing on how do we actually works on input box. So what is an input box? Input box basically forms a very important component of a form. Now, uh, where have you seen input box? Whenever you open up a form, like let it be a login form, a sign up form, everywhere you would find an input box. So now let's see how an input box look like. So this is my input box, which is having a first name and a last name. Uh, from the perspective of a user or as a user, what can a user do in the input box? Obviously, he can clear some uh, text from the input box, he can insert some value and he can, he might even try to fetch the value of the input box. So to start with, input boxes are a major part of our HTML forms. We generally use them to enter values. Uh, like uh, we would be, like whatever interaction is there, we would be seeing it in the upcoming slides. We can put the text, uh, like what whatever text we want to put can be put using the send keys method. And in, in case we want to retrieve a text, we can retrieve it using the get attribute method in the input box. Now let's see at these methods. So, say uh, I'm having an input box and the name is, the name of this box is password. First what I do, I can clear this, whatever text is there, I can clear it using the dot clear function. Another example when I'm having a input box with the name user underscore name and I want to send some value like in user one at the rate example.com. What I do, I simply find the element by the name, whatever is available on the page and send keys to user one at the rate example.com. The output of this would be, this text would be here into this input box. And if in case I want to retrieve the value of this input box, I can simply do it by get attribute with the value. This would return me the value of whatever text has been typed into the input box. So this was all about the input box. Now let's quickly go open up our Eclipse and see the working of input boxes. Uh, so guys, uh, welcome back again. Now like as we have already quickly seen about the working of input box, uh, we are very much clear that you know input box is nothing but a small kind of text box which we use you know whenever we are entering some uh, username or password into our application, right? So for this like uh, we would be doing a quick demo for the input box. For this I would request you to kindly open up your Eclipse. In the Eclipse where here are we right. So I've created a new project and I've named the project as form input box demo right. In this project uh, under the src folder let me create a new package and I'm naming the package as com dot uh, from example, I click on finish. So here I would be creating a new uh, class file. This class file would like I would name it as you know to keep it in context I would name it as input box demo right and here and I'm you know uh, creating the stuff that is the main method into my particular Java file right. So here is my this application that, that has been you know that would be working uh, for now let's see which page we would be working on right. So first of all we would be working on actually the basic page or the automation practice uh, page that that is there on our website. So let me open up Firefox for this. I go to todayspoint.com. Here and I go to Selenium. In the useful resources, you would find automation practice. So I would be working on this pr this form uh, right now, and uh, I would try to find, or first of all, I would try to find this input box or this uh, name field. Then I would you know clear whatever if anything is written in this field. Then I would actually type something into the field, and then I would try to get some attributes or some properties for this field, right? So let's get started. So what I'm doing is, first of all, I need to set the property. Yes, so system dot set property. I need to set the property of web driver dot geeko dot driver. And the property is geeko driver. 
So, after this, the first step is to create the object of the web driver. And this is my web driver. I've named it as driver equal to new mounted driver. So now let us first get this URL. Uh, so for this, I quickly go to my Mozilla browser. Here's my Mozilla. I copy it, and here I simply paste it. So, what should be my next step after this one? So now I need to find like uh, what is the you know property or what is the unique identification for this input box, right? So here is I inspect element in Firepath, and here I am having a property as name, right? So now let me quickly work on name. So what should be you know like how we can actually find the this element is by element, and I name this as name element equal to. Obviously, I first need to pass the reference to the driver whose object I have created. So, what is saying that you know in this particular URL, find element by dot name, and the name is the. I have to copy it. I copy it and I pass here as name. So not much difficult to work, very simple, very basic. After this, I will actually work on this name element and would first clear this one. Then I would again get this element and would send the keys and here I would type uh, name or else ABC. Now this was the basic property of an input box you know we can actually we are supposed to type into this one so I'll quickly run my project and see. So a new window opens up and here it's you know it's loading it will take its time so you have to be patient till then. So. Here this ABC has been written over here, right? So this was the very first property of the input box. Now what I'll do is pass this name and we'll try to get this particular value of this attribute, right? So uh, for our input boxes, as I've discussed, we have a property that is get name element dot get attribute. And I want to find the attribute of the name, right? So in this way, like whatever attribute, you know, by attribute I mean that uh, all these things are attributed that, that are written over here, right? So all of these, this name, this type, these styles, all of these are attributes, right? I can easily get any one of them, right? So here's this. Now what should be my output is onto my console, I should see that, yes. Now let me quickly go to my console and check if I'm able to get the attribute. So for this attribute, I obviously need to print it out, right? So now what should happen is I should be able to see the name or attribute written onto my console. So previously without system out it didn't work. Obviously it can't work without system but out dot println and now here I am simply printing it using my system dot out dot println. So here's it and here it shows first name. So guys very basic, very simple. We have to get an input box, we have to work on them. Uh, we then you know uh, we send keys to them uh, sending keys is quite similar to typing like if in say if in case say we are uh, entering username and password these things are simple and you know after them we can even get the attributes I can even get the attribute like type over here so maybe you can try and you know practice all of those input box that are there on this page 
try to fill them fill up them with values and see how they work and behave right so thank you guys for tuning in